It was quite natural. I've seen and followed the traffic in what we call the passive mode for a long time before that. So I'd seen quite a few landings. It was quite an overwhelming change from the beginning. Um, you change from glass windows to monitors, you change from pen and paper to the digital solution, but you very quickly adjust to it and it feels natural. I would think when you knew from the beginning, it is that you watch monitors instead of glass windows. That is the first sort of obstacle you have to get your mind around. Once you're over that, it's not a huge difference. You don't get tired of the big screens because the big screens are at a certain distance from your human eyes. If you look into the desktop environment where you have the electronic fly sweep and the radar screen, they are a little bit more close to your eyes and your body. So you get more tired of those screens, but those screens you also have in the conventional tower. The screens in the remote tower module have a setup of 360 degrees, but they are on a 225 standing. But that means you have right behind you, directly to the right and to the left. So you need to train to learn to look behind you on the left and on the right side. It's also a mental process that the controller during the transformation phases from the convention tower to the digital tower need to adapt to. You don't use your binoculars in the remote tower module. For that we have a pan tilt zoom camera. And that is a camera that you manually can operate to target certain vehicle, aircraft, people or animals around the airport. And also one neat feature for this panted zoom camera in the future is that it can target an object and follow it on the total process into landing or takeoff from the airport. Well, there are many good parts about uh, working with the digital solution. Um, we have smart built-in safety nets. They are very handy for us. We have good features like uh, the pan tilt zoom camera that will give us very detailed information. We have the filters as opposed to a conventional tower. You can see through these transparent filters. And in the future there's also smart add-ons you can have uh, as uh, overlays, uh, box and following, etc. There are no special regulations applicable for digital tower. We still need to fulfill the same rules and regulations that the conventional tower have for their service. When we have visitors in the remote tower center in Sundsvall, and the first time they visit us, they say always, wow, isn't it harder than this? Because they see this air traffic controller sitting in this environment, giving the service to an aircraft departing and landing, and they ask, can it be this simple? The answer is yes, it can be really simple.